what's up day walkers and fellow travelers of the night we have another unboxing we're going to do today for the moon knight upper deck cards that came out recently so we have a box for blue one of my alters he's the one who kind of really pulled me into the world of moon knight even though i've been reading comics for years and i've always known about the character and read some appearances of him i didn't become as big of a fan until i saw the show which is something that blue really pushed me to watch and it made an impact on us uh you know as someone with a similar situation as mark and stephen have and jake obviously so today we're going to open another box but before i do i want to show off a couple things because i went to megacon recently and this cool backdrop here that you see this little cloth this is actually papyrus it's from egypt and it was made by these two lovely ladies who go over to egypt and help make them i guess and bring them back over uh, to the u.s and sell them here and they have their own business. So I want to plug them real quick because this is obviously the Book of the Dead, this art behind. And it's really, really nice material, really soft, but very delicate also. It's papyrus, so it's very fragile too. So be very careful with it if you order any. And it just has a little bit of information here. But I also put their website right there. So if you want to check out their website, please go to the website and support these girls. They are amazing. They had some really cool stuff. Their booth is amazing. I'll put a couple pictures then videos I took of their booth as well. And they have some that like have black light material in it as well. So you can like scan a light over it and reveal another image. Uh, and then I have another one coming in. It's called Double Conchu. So it's actually Conchu with two spirits of Conchu embodying one body. And I thought, how cool is that? And how perfect for us to have. So we have one of those on the way. So uh, for now, though, I just want to show off this Book of the Dead one. And you'll see it in at least today's video. I don't know if you'll see it in any more videos in the future because this actually belongs to a friend of mine who bought it and I told him I'd be very careful with it and I would give it back to him later and he would give me the double conchu when that shows up. So yeah, we're doing like a trade thing. But yeah, go support these women. They are amazing. They create awesome stuff and they bring over from Egypt where you know a lot of this is made. They bring over awesome stuff. So go support their business. Oh, and lastly, I also want to show these off. These are from Upper Deck. These are card sleeves that have Moon Knight on them. And I think there's like 60 or 65 in here. I didn't open them yet. I figured you can't see the backs of them, <laughs> but uh, I might for a couple of inserts after we go through all the cards and open all the boxes, I might have these on some of them. Some of the ones that I don't need to see the back of, I might put these on there and display them, you know, back on the shelf or whatever. So yeah, so I'm, I'm glad I got those two. Those are very cool. All right, I've talked enough. Let's get to the cards, man, because that's what we all came here for. And yeah, I wanted to keep it sealed uh, until I opened or until I filmed this. So that's why uh, I, I have like four more boxes over there. This one, like I said, is going to be for Blue. This is one of his boxes. And I believe he filmed uh, an opening of one of these already. And what he wanted to do with his first box was do packs by day. So now I got to edit 15 videos <laughs> for Instagram and for YouTube that revolve around, um, you know, like one minute videos of just opening the packs individually. So he was like, hey, here's more content for you. I'm like, yes, but it's also a little bit more work for me too. Uh, but that's okay. So that's how he wanted to do one of his boxes. So we did that. This time we're going to do the real deal. We're going to open all the packs. So there you go. Got the images. I love this box. I'm going to do a product review of this after we get through all the boxes and we see fully what we got. I'm going to do a product review because obviously there's like little details in the boxes, like stuff like this, like the little hieroglyphics. Like there's a lot of cool stuff that they did with this set um, and then with the look of it. And obviously you got images on the back of other cards. So yeah, they did a good job. So obviously I want to you know, commend them for that, but I want to make a whole video where I'm actually talking about the cards, the pros and cons, things that I liked about the, the design of some of the cards, things I don't. So I'm going to keep all the cards up here so you can kind of see the, the three stacks that I have. Kept them exactly how they are in the box. So we'll just go like this. I'll start with this stack and we'll just work our way over to the left. We'll go from right to left. We'll go, uh, I guess, counterclockwise. Maybe it depends. It's not a circle. So yeah, but we're going to go right to left uh, with this box. And, uh, and we'll start with this one. First pack, let's do this. Hopefully we get some good stuff here. All right, I just want to readjust the camera so you guys can see the, the cards a little bit better. So there we go. We got Layla, first card. We got Mark's apartment, or Steven's apartment, I guess. Uh, Mark is, he's a mercenary, so he kind of just lives wherever, but this is Steven's place. Uh, and I'll get more into the locations and all that stuff when we do our episode reviews of the show. Um, so here we have our first sand parallel, which is really cool. It's uh, just a base card from the set with the sand color around it. There are other colors. I believe there's sky blue and midnight blue, so as you've seen in previous videos. So actually, I think we just got, speaking of blue, uh, blue, I think you're going to get another blue card in your uh, your box here. So that's cool. Uh, one of the ones I did for blue with Steel City 
had a blue card in it, uh, and I think that was our first blue card. So really, really cool. So yeah, look at that. That's a great shot. I love the images, and I just, like I said, I love the design, but I'll do a product review some other time. Um, so all right, let's see what card it is. Boom, all right, that's another sky blue. Your father was murdered by mercenaries. Big reveal there for Layla. And what number do we got? 163 out of 199. So yeah, these ones are out of 199 and the midnight blue ones I believe are out of 50. So they are rare, but I think they are almost one a box for the most part. And if you get one of these, someone had told me that it might reduce your chances of getting an autograph and stuff, but as you've seen in a recent video of ours, that is not the case. Um, so yeah, so you, it looks like we can still get autographs even with a blue card. So I want to just bag this up real quick, keep this preserved because these are limited and numbered. And who knows, maybe there's someone out there that's trying to make a set of these numbered blue cards. And if so, maybe we could do trades with them or sell them, something like that. So yeah, awesome. But now we know it's safe, so there we go. All right, first pack, blue card. All right, let's go, second pack. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm laying the cards on the papyrus and some of the, you know, it's not completely flat, the papyrus, so. Uh, so excuse me if you hear background noise. All right, so we got a shot of Layla there in the desert. Hey, this is the first card in the set, um, which, you know, we opened, I think, four boxes, and this might be our first time, our second time getting this card. So I don't know if it's rare or <laughs> just what the case is, but yeah, it's uh, it's cool that we got a second one there. Um, all right, we got our sand parallel, and we got Tao Wedded's boat, both of them. Look at that. Bam, bam. Perfect. All right, and then we got another base card. Now let's see what our possible hit is. Okay, nice, A Fist of Vengeance. I think we have this one looking sharp. I believe we have this one. What? I don't know. Um, we're still organizing the boxes we've opened, so I, I don't have like a full count or anything yet of what we're missing. But uh, I also feel like we should just wait till we get all the boxes open before we do something like that. But um, I don't know, Blue's very organized, so he might, wanna, he might wanna put everything together next time he's out in fronting. So, okay, Tao Wet It, ensemble card. The, the first nine cards in the set are ensemble cards, so uh, she looks great there. All right, and then another Tao Wet It. Cool. <laughs> She's fantastic. I like her character. Oh, that's cool. We got Conchu's head in the sand parallel. That is great. And we are trying to make two full sets of the base set for us. Um, obviously, <laughs> you know, kind of one for me, one for blue, but we're putting them in the same binder. So I'll show that off when we do our product review as well. Um, so here we go, more of the boat. Tell what it's boat through the Juat, um, the Egyptian underworld. That's cool. I think we talked about this before where this is uh, the actor who sadly passed away. He was gonna, he was playing a character called Midnight Man in the comics. Um, so uh, rest in peace, very talented dude. I like that sequence with him and, and, uh, every, and yeah, he, was, he had quite the presence on screen there. So, awesome, and I got uh, our hit is a, a Chamber of the Gods. All right, and yeah, we have this one already, the Chamber of the Gods, uh, but still really cool. Uh, that sequence is so funny in the first episode where where they're uh, you know chasing the cupcake van through Germany, which is actually filmed in Budapest, but, uh, but it doubles for Germany. So, yes, all right, let's keep going, keep going. I wanna try to get faster at these, even though I'm not like in a rush. It's not a race, it's more of a marathon for me, but. Uh, boom, but I know some of you guys out there are like, just show us the hits, just show us the hits. Hey, cool, nice, we got a Stephen Grant fan parallel, awesome. All right, I'm into that. And then what do we got here? We got another shot of Layla, awesome, beautiful May. Oh, here we go, Antonia, very cool, very pretty lady also. She plays uh, the you know the voice and the motion capture for Tao Wet It. And all right, let's see what's behind the sand parallel. Ah, oh, another Fist of Vengeance. These are very, you know, frequent. You could get these. So we might actually finish a full set of the Fist of Vengeances, uh, which will be awesome. And if we make a second one, we can always look for collectors out there who are trying to do that. Because I think for us, we're okay with just having one of the inserts, one set of the inserts, um, but the base set we wanted two sets of. So, yes. All right. So next pack. Last one for the far right stack. All right. Looks like all cards to me, so... We'll see what's in here. All right, got Ethan there, Arthur Harrow, great shot. Hey, the gods, we have Amit and Kanchu. Really cool. Oh, a great shot of Ethan as a sand parallel. We're going to go back. Gus the fish. 
What the fish? I love that scene. Oh, there's a great Conchu in the ensemble. Really cool. And what do we got? Oh, another Chamber of the Gods. Hey, the Jackals. Now, we have this one too, I believe. Um, but still, really cool. Uh, this, these, these ones with the concept art are fantastic. I think they did a really good job. I'm glad they included them because we have the art book, like the art of Moon Knight, the show, and the art of Werewolf by Night, and they show off some of those drawings uh, and artworks inside that book, and it's uh, obviously they show it in there. It's called The Art Of, um, but they it's beautiful, and I'm glad they put some of that art in this card set for people who like looking at artwork as well as images from a show they like. So, all right, next stack. We're in the middle stack now, pack one of the middle stack, pack six overall. All right, so ooh, another gorgeous shot of May. She looks fantastic there. All right, hey, our sand parallels second. Okay, cool. So we got our sand parallel. Uh, okay, we got our fist of vengeance. Are we missing a card? No, no. Wow, we got we got six cards in here. All right, got Ethan there. Awesome, looking like a handsome cult leader. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, they, okay. We got another one of that, but this time in base set, a uh, regular card, not uh, the sand pillow. And what's this extra card we got? Oh my goodness. Whoa. What is this? Chamber of the gods, obviously, but it's like black and shiny. What's it say on the back? Shattered reflections. Number five of 32. Holy cow. That is fantastic. Oh my God, we got to sleeve this right now. I don't know how rare these are. I'll have to look it up. Hopefully I'll have that flash up on screen of how many packs you have to open to get one of these. But that is great. That's a great card. Oh, I like that. Um, in black too, it looks really sharp. Yeah, that's clean looking, man. Um, and I like that it has like a, a prism foil effect on it. That's so good. Yeah, look at that. Five of 32. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Moving on, moving on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're only halfway through the box here. And uh, we got to we gotta start speeding some stuff up. But I don't know. I just geek out over this. I mean, I, I you know, we love the show. Collectively, me and Blue are huge, huge fans. The others like it. They, you know, they like that we like it, but, um, you know, not all of us are comic book fans. So for me and blue, this is a, a big deal uh, as far as connecting, uh, the two of us. So, um, so yeah, so here we go. Our balance, I guess, look how perfect is that? Uh, finding our balance, me and blue. So we have the scales there. Amazing. Got a great shot of Conchu. Chose you as his avatar. Awesome. Crowley. All right. And the sand parallel. And then we got Mark there. I think that's, yeah, that's Mark before, uh, th that it's hard because in that scene, they switch back a little bit, um, back and forth. Oh, okay. So this is, this happens a couple times where you get the base one and the parallel to it. Um, and then boom, another chamber of the gods. Sweet. And again, I, I'm pretty sure we have that one. Um, I think I want to say we're missing, like, I think we got half of them. I think chambers of the gods, I, I want to say there's like 15 of them maybe. And then fist of vengeance, there's around 20. And I think we have half. That's all I know. I think like I looked at them real quickly, but you know, Blue's gonna put them all on this binder and, and get them all sorted. So, so we'll I'll know a definitive number soon, hopefully. Um, hey, Doctor Harrow, very cool. Who is more of an organizing principal? They say it in the show, and they believe the uh, uh, insane asylum or the the mental health facility is their uh, organizing principal, and it is. And Ethan or Doctor Harrow, his character is more or less. Um, you know, a, a side of Mark that is trying to rationalize what's happening and they put the enemy, you know, the face of their enemy on that person who's trying to rationalize to, you know, because Mark doesn't want to trust the information and Steven don't want to trust the information. So pretty neat how they go that deep psychologically. And it's, I think it's one of the best performances uh, of someone playing a psychologist on, or a psychiatrist. I don't know if he prescribes medicine or not, but, um, so it's, but it's really good. You know, it's, it's fantastic. His performance is great. And that's in those scenes. Um, all right. We got Mr. Knight. Perfect. Another Ethan with the sand parallel. Cool. Another Ethan. This is an Ethan pack, man. Maybe even an Ethan box. I'm okay with that, man. Big fan of Ethan here. Um, all right. We got another Stephen Grant and 
Well, ooh, yeah. Layla. Very cool. Now, this design, if you don't know, was going to be for Isis in, in the show. They were going to have a scene where you saw the gods and they had, like, armor and suits on and stuff. But I think for budget reasons, they had to cut some of that out and just went with the avatars, which works better for the story anyway. So when Tal Wedet takes over uh, and uses Layla as her avatar, she says, I have a great idea for a costume. And she's pretty much pulling from Isis's look with the wings and everything. So, yeah, really, really cool. I dig I dig that. The, the design came together really well. I remember when I first saw it, I was like, I was thinking of Hawk Girl from DC. And I was like, oh, this is like a really cool version of Hawk Girl. Um, all right. So next up. Oh, okay. We have Mark's mother. Wendy, I believe her name is. Um, and then also we have Mr. Knight there out in the sand. Perfect. Uh, sand parallel Mark. Ethan. Conchu's head. And, oh, another Fist of Vengeance. Oh, maybe a new one. Actually, I, I don't know if we have this one. Again, I have to, you know what? After this box, I'll do my own inventory. Um, so that way, the next, because the next box we open will be my box. Um, and, and then we have, I think three left after that, and we're saving them for collabs with other streamers. So, uh, so yeah, so I, uh, I'll try to learn more before I open my, my next box. Um, so here we go. All right. Last pack in the middle. We got Moon Knight running from the Jackal. Perfect. All right. We got Steven talking to Mark through the mirror. Our sand parallel of Ethan. And then we have May here. Wonderful shot of her. All right. We got Tal Wedit talking to the boys. And a Traveler of the Night. Oh, nice. I, I actually, I believe we have this one. Maybe. I actually, I don't know. That's a, I, I think this might have been in one of the, um, the boxes that came from Steel City that they opened on their stream for us. So uh, I'll know more when those arrive in the mail because we're still we're still waiting on those also. <laughs> so which is the only reason why I haven't torn through all these boxes in blue as well is because we know we have those coming in. And I'm like, hey, man, we got at least save three for some YouTube collabs. So just whatever you do, open whatever you want. Just film it and and uh, and don't, uh, you know, don't open those three. Um, but I think both of us are more or less waiting for those boxes to come in so we can get a proper inventory or he can get a proper inventory before we dive into those last three boxes so all right last stack let's go let's go okay tal wet it with the scales hey there we go awesome antonia right who plays who plays the voice of tal wet it great shot of her oh we got the the first card in a sand parallel i'm into that all right, Conchu, May, or Layla, obviously. I like I call everybody by their real name sometimes, so. Um, and boom, another Chamber of the Gods. Awesome. And yeah, these are more frequent than I think even I was prepared for, um, with those in the Fist of Vengeances. But that's cool because they are extensions of the base set, so I'm glad that you have, if you get a box or two, you have a really good chance at getting a lot of them. Um, you know, so that's great. Oh, I think I saw a new card for us, maybe. Um, all right, so we got Turning the Night. Oh, wait. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. For some reason, I thought I could see right through that. Uh, so my x-ray vision kicked in for a second. I apologize. And yeah, don't tell anyone I have x-ray vision. Uh, I'm here from outer space, uh, and I'm trying to remain undetected. And now I just blew my cover. Um, great shot of Ethan there. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's a great, that's a great sand parallel of the museum after hours there we go so mark specter so i don't think i have this card either or at least not in the boxes that uh like the the steel city ones i don't remember seeing it and uh, but i mean it could be there i i only watched the videos back one time so who knows but at least in the box i opened the other day i didn't see it and i didn't see it in the footage of uh of blues like pack to pack unboxing either because uh, i had to watch all that to start editing them so all right Oh, we got one more. Hold on. Oh, no. I just revealed what the, the hit was. All right. That's okay. Uh, heck of priests. And we'll just ru jump right into it. Oh, a level two. Awesome. As Salim. Uh, Salim. Uh, he is very cool. I believe he is the avatar. Khaled, uh, the actor who plays him. Um, and Salim, the character, is an avatar for Osiris. 
which is really great because there's a moment in the show, this is a level two, so that's a little bit harder to find. I think these are one in every 90 packs um, or maybe even higher than that, actually. Um, so I'll put the number up on screen there. But um, Osiris, so there's a great sequence in episode five or six where Mark and Steven are in the duot in the sand and Osiris decides to um, show mercy on them and, and awaken them and give them access back to the earth realm. And to some people, they might be like, well, that's so random. Why did that happen? Well, if you don't know the story of Osiris, uh, then you, you don't know a little bit of context where Osiris was killed by his brother and, uh, and chopped up. <laughs> so when he saw Stephen and Mark bond as brothers, like Tatouette says, she says, oh, Osiris, you old softy. And so because of that, he's like, all right, I'll let them out so they can go and stop uh, Amit um, for killing my avatar. So, uh, yeah, really cool. Cool sequence and adds a little context to that scene in the show. But, yeah, that's great. And Acetate Antiquities, nice grab there. And then we got three packs left. So let's not waste any more time. No, I can I can talk all day about this show. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and it's funny because Blue... He's into the show, but it, like, as far as knowledge base, like he just likes watching it. He likes the feeling he gets when he watches it. Whereas I like got into the lore, into the Egyptian lore, and all the history, and I got into a lot, a lot of it too. So, uh, so we like it for similar reasons and different reasons. And the stuff we like about it are similar, but we also have our differences that we like as well. Um, but I like that it ties into Egypt, and they went with a mummy design on the character. And Blue doesn't care so much about the look. He just cares at uh, the representation of, you know, DID and how compassionate it is, which I also agree. But, uh, but that's not, you know, I like that, but it's it's not in the forefront of my mind like it is in his. All right, so we got Conchu, we got Layla, we have uh, the the I think this is Conchu's tomb. Maybe, yeah, I think it is, um, and then we have Ethan. And we have the museum, and then boom, sand variant. Nice, of Avatar versus Avatar. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll go ahead and bag this up. Gonna bag it up, girl. I like the way you work it. All right, yes. Boom, yeah, I'm a goofball. <laughs> all right, so two packs left. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Still looking for an Oscar Isaac autograph, but I gotta be honest, the autograph we got already, amazing. Really love that card. Um, so boom, we got the Great Pyramid of Giza, the, the Chamber of Gods. There's Conchu's, oh, so this is Conchu's tomb. The other one I think was part of the Giza. Um, awesome, got Sand Variant of Moon Knight. There's the <laughs> chamber again, boom. And then we have Tawadit on the boat with the boys in the scale. And a sand variant. Oh, of, of that Chamber of the Gods. We got this earlier in the box, but still very, very cool to get a sand variant of it. Awesome. All right. So I'll put that over there. And we got our last pack. Let's go. Last pack magic. All right. We made it. I know some of you are like, dude, you take too long. I, I know, but I just, I love this stuff. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Um... And not sorry at the same time. <laughs> All right, so from the final battle, we got Mr. Knight. We got Amit talking to her avatar. We got a great Khonshu, Sand Parallel. We got that same shot of Moon Knight from the previous pack as a base card. Great. I love that, you know, most superheroes, they put their symbols on their chest. And it's just, you know, it's kind of funny sometimes because you're like, well, if it's a real world setting, why... Why advertise and brand themselves like that? Uh, you know, to to a, an extent. Obviously, it's comic books, so you kind of give it a pass. But I like that Moon Knight doesn't have a moon on his chest like he does in the comics. It's his actual placement for his weapon. And I just and I think they did a version of Batman like that too. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Where the symbol can be ripped off, and so it's more or less just a quick grab to throw a weapon at somebody. Um, so yeah, perfect there. And then our last card of the box, boom! Another sand parallel of Fist of Vengeance, Battle of the Gods. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm going to put that over here. So not too bad. You know, we didn't have uh, any autos, but that's okay. You know, they're not guaranteed every box, like I said. Um, but we got a couple of sand parallels here. I'll probably bag these up here in a little bit. Um, but then we have this one here. We got the Acetate Antiquities, which was really cool to see that. 
and uh, a character that didn't get a ton of screen time, but I thought carried a lot of weight and had a great presence when he was on screen. Um, so that's a testament to Caleb's, uh, his acting. I thought he did a good job. Um, obviously here, our Traveler of the Night and our other super cool, rare, out of 32 Chamber of the God variant parallel. Very cool. And then our blue Ethan as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these cards down below. Like I said, we'll have at least one more boxing where I'll open one for me. This was Blue's box. Um, and then we will open one for me in the next episode probably. And then we're going to save those other three. But then we'll get into the series, the live action series, and talk about our thoughts on that. Compare it to some of the stuff they do with DID in the show and how it compares and how, how we deal with similar things as an OSDD system. So we'll get into all that in a future episode for sure. So let me know again what you think down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.